Well, the uh, 10 to 180 meter MFP uh, 1982 medium power did not work in a U shape or almost a loop. So I'm back to the, uh, the 1984 MP. It's going to that first little tree there. And it's a, it's a perfect match. And it uh, doesn't load up good on half of two bands. Let's see, uh, or at least it was. I got a little higher, seems to be loading up better. Uh, doesn't like uh, uh, SSB end of 20. And I think I had to tune it a little bit on 40 also. And it didn't like the high end of 10, but now that I got high up, it works the whole band. Uh, you know what the funny part is? It's a little over two, or it's about two on 160, so I might try that. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a plus? No way on 80, though. It's not like 80. So we'll give it a try, California QSL contest tomorrow. If I can figure out something else or camp out or something, uh, next week is uh, South Dakota QSO contest. Did I say South Dakota first? California and then South Dakota next week. Okay. So let's in 5 EWN. Oh, that's my little ring cover. You like that? I heard that they don't work well if they get wet. So that lets it breathe. I just cut a slit down. It's not super, but super enough. Here's my station. 20 just died. I was hearing some parks on the air while I go. The MFJ 1982, 80 meter to 10 meter, was not a go here because I had to do a U shape all the way around. And uh, so I went back with the uh, 40 10. And it worked pretty good. Uh, first contact was uh, just trying it out. I had to tune 40 because I didn't have something quite right. It's still not great, uh, some of the frequencies, but even if I tune it, it seems to be getting stuff. And uh, I just went in the C California QSO contest from South Dakota, and I've got 102 contacts. I'll show you. Personal best. 